the dip. A second concept or way of thinking about things that I want you to think about this week when thinking about adherence is that of the dip. And I used to cover this when we used to have the monthly find out more meetings pre-COVID before we changed a lot of things up. And it explains the process that we usually go through when we do anything new, we make a change, we get a new job, we go into a new relationship, we start a diet, we, we join a new exercise program, whatever it may be. And we often start in what's called the uninformed optimism area. It's the honeymoon period. We don't fully know everything about it, but it all sounds great and it's very exciting. And over time, as we find out more and more about it, we move into what's called informed pessimism. Our mood about the whole thing lowers. Ah, actually, it's going to involve some hard work. It's not all quite as shiny and as exciting as it initially need, seemed. And at that point, we've got two choices. We can either drop out, stop doing that thing, potentially just to start again at some point in the future and keep rotating through that uninformed optimism, informed pessimism, every potentially January by joining a new gym or whatever else we do. Or we can keep on going onto what's called informed optimism. We know it's going to involve some, some time and effort and commitment on our part, but it's worth it. We've got some support, we feel this is a fit for us, and we just need to keep on going, eventually onto completion, or at least onto considerably better results than we would have got if we'd have dropped out before. That's a perfectly natural cycle. We all go through it. You may at the moment be in informed pessimism, thinking, you'll tell yourself I don't have time for it, it's all too much, it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. And you've got a choice now. You can either stop completely, just keep rotating around, nothing will really change, or you can move on, keep doing what needs to be done to that informed optimism and on to completion or at least much closer.